Hello, welcome to another video of the complete Angular course. In the last session, we created a page that we use to display user posts and a component to create the post. In this session, we'll upload a post to the database so we can retrieve it later. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel to get updates on the next video for this project. To begin, open the project from where we left off in the last session. Go to the Firebase console. So far, we have used the Cloud Firestore database to upload our user data. In addition to that, now we need to use the Firebase storage database for our image file. The Files tab is where we see all the files in the storage. The Rules tab shows us who and where our users can access the storage. It is currently allowing us to read and write data to the storage if we're logged in. Since we want everyone to be able to read all the posts, remove the read parameter from the allow statement and add another allow statement to allow everyone to read. Then publish the rules. The usage tab shows us how much space and bandwidth we have used. Let's see how we can add files to the storage. Go to the create post HTML page. Locate the text area element and give it a template reference. Then attach a click event to the post button and pass in the text area reference. Go to the create post component TypeScript file and define the function. Import the Firebase TS Alt, Firebase TS Firestore, and Firebase TS Storage classes and create an object for each. Inside the onPostClick function, get the value of the text area. Since Firestore cannot store files, we need to upload a file to the storage first. Once the file is in the storage, it will create a link for us to use to download the file. Instead of uploading the file directly to Firestore, we are uploading the post information with that file URL. To upload files to the storage, grab the storage object and then call the upload method. The method takes in an object with up to six properties, but we only need four. The first one is upload name. This allows the storage object to keep track of how many uploads are running in the app. The second property is path, which points to the location of where we want to place the file. Unlike Firestore, the storage do not store files in collections. It stores files in folders called directories, just like on a computer. If I have post, post1, and image, it will upload a file called image in a folder called post1, and the post1 folder will be inside the post folder. In our case, instead of placing the images in a static folder, we want to place the post image in a specific folder for each post. To do this, declare a new variable called post ID. We can generate a unique ID using a method from the Firestore object called gen.id. Replace post1 with the post ID. 
The third property is data. It is an object with two properties, but we only need to use the one called data. In here, pass in the file that you want to upload. The last property we'll need is the onComplete callback function. This function will get called when the file is uploaded to the storage. An URL will be returned, and we can use it to download the file. Add an alert statement and print the URL. If we go to the app and select an image, and then click on the Post button, it will upload the image to the storage. Copy the URL from the alert and paste it in the browser. As you can see, it displayed the image that was uploaded. If we go to the Firebase console and click on the Files tab, we will see a folder called Post. If we go inside, there is another folder. And inside that folder is the file for our image. Let's see how we can put the information in Firestore. Go back to the Create Post TypeScript file. In the onComplete callback function, remove the alert statement. Grab the Firestore object and call the create method. For the path, put the post in a collection called post using the post ID that was generated. For the data, each post will have a comment. The ID of the user who created the post. The URL for the image. And the time it was created. Instead of using the local time from the computer, We'll use the timestamp from the server. Import the Firebase TS app class and call the get Firestore timestamp method. Lastly, add the onComplete callback function. We want to close the dialog when the upload finishes. Import mat dialog ref from Angular Material and inject it in the constructor. For the angle brackets, place the name of the component. In the onComplete callback function, grab the dialog ref object and call the close method. If we run the app and create a pose, the data will be uploaded to the storage and then to Firestore. This is great and all, but we're not done. Right now, our code only works if we have an image selected. If we do not select an image, nothing will happen. To fix this, go to the create post TypeScript file and create a function called upload image post.
Get the code from the onPostClick function and place it inside the uploadImagePost function. Lastly, add a parameter for the comment from the text area. Create another function called uploadPost. Go to the uploadImagePost function and copy the code where it uploads the document to Firestore. Then paste it inside the uploadPost function. Remove the post ID and the image URL properties. Then add a parameter for the comment as well. Go to the onPostClick function and use the if statement to check if this is a selected image file. If there is, call the uploadImagePost function. If not, call the uploadPost function. Lastly, check if the comment is empty or not. If it is, return out of the function. If we run the app and try to post an empty post, nothing will happen. If we enter a comment, it will create a document in Cloud Firestore. If we add an image to the post, it will upload the file to the storage and then it will create a document in Firestore. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. In the next video, we'll retrieve the post data and display them in the post feed page. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.